That's my bad, bro. All right, so I hope you liked that intro. If you did, let me know by liking this video. And in case it wasn't clear what was happening, we're out here playing stroke play and my buddy Dexter, who's another player in my group, accidentally ran over my ball with his golf cart, driving it straight down into the ground and leaving it now stuck in the earth. So I'm gonna show you how we take relief in this situation, but I chose this situation specifically because I think it's a good example about how you need to go about assessing what's happened and then navigating through the rules to figure out what the correct procedure is. So first and foremost, I think it's worth mentioning that some folks out there might think that because this ball is now lodged in the earth, that we would simply take embedded ball relief, but we need to look at the definition of embedded. For a ball to be embedded, it must lie in its own pitch mark that was made as a result of the previous stroke. And that's obviously not what happened here because my previous stroke resulted in this ball coming to rest in the middle of the fairway with a perfect lie. The only reason why it's lodged in the earth now is because something else caused it to be. So by definition, this ball is not embedded, so we would not take embedded ball relief. But what we do need to do is acknowledge the fact that this ball has moved. And moved is one of those words in the golf world that means something entirely different than what a normal person would think of when they hear the word move, because it's quite possible in golf to physically see a ball wobbling or moving yet the rules may not consider it to have moved. So for a ball to move in golf, it means that the ball is at rest on a spot, it leaves that spot, and it comes to rest on a different spot. And the movement is noticeable by the naked eye. That makes this scenario interesting because one could certainly challenge that this ball didn't move because after all, it stayed on the same spot the whole time, it just got pushed down on that spot. But if we go back to look at the definition of moved, moved includes not only the horizontal movement, but also the up and down vertical movement. And if we roll the footage back, you can see that the ball made a significant change in its vertical position, which is also noticeable by the naked eye. So by definition, this ball has absolutely moved. And the very next question we need to answer whenever a ball moves in golf is what caused it to move? because that will dictate what we need to do next. There are only four things that can cause a ball to move in golf, and they include myself, the player, my opponent in a match play event, natural forces, which includes the effects of nature like wind and water and gravity. And if the ball moves for any other reason, it's moved by an outside influence which includes every other thing and every other person in existence. So Dexter and his golf cart would fall into that outside influence category. And we see outside influences come into play pretty frequently on tour whenever we see somebody hit their ball into the crowd and a spectator moves their ball, or even more fun when an animal comes along and lifts or moves their ball. Those are outside influence situations. So we determined that the ball has moved. It's moved because of an outside influence. Now we have a starting point within the rules to figure out what we need to do. And under 9.6, whenever a ball moves by an outside influence, all we have to do simply is replace our ball back on the original spot. 9.6 is also going to point us to rule 14.2, which gives us additional guidance as to how exactly we need to go about replacing this ball. So whenever we're required to replace the ball back on the original spot, we need to use the original ball. There are four exceptions that will allow us to substitute the ball, but none of those exceptions come into play in this situation. I will list those exceptions down in the description below. So we're gonna use the original ball. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this ball up. There's no need to mark anything. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this ball off a little bit because the rules allow me to do so. I have made a video on the four times that you're not allowed to clean the ball after you've lifted it. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check that out. Links down in the description below. Now, I'm gonna replace this ball back on the original spot, but this is where things get interesting because the original spot, the spot of the ball, includes the vertical location of the ball relative to the ground. So we know my original spot is right here because the golf cart drove it straight down into the ground. But if I try to replace the ball on the original spot, it falls back into that pitch mark. So I am unable to replace my ball back on the original spot because the original lie has been altered. So when that happens, here's what we need to do. We need to find the nearest spot with a lie that is most similar to what we had before this ball moved. Now with the hole going that way, we can't go any closer and we can find the most similar lie up to one club length. We also have to stay in the same area of the course so we're in the fairway right now, that's part of the general area. We would need to stay in the general area. But 
the most similar lie with a, with a nice looking fairway like this is going to be pretty close to where this ball was. So the most similar lie I think is about right there. That is the nearest most similar lie than what we had prior to that ball moving. With this ball now placed, it is in play and we can continue on. So I know that was a pretty long explanation for an otherwise pretty simple procedure, but I really feel like if you can grasp the concept of the rules, you'll have a lot more confidence in being able to recognize them when you're out on the course and therefore be able to apply the appropriate rule, which ultimately protects your scorecard. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you got any value out of this video or learned anything new, do me a favor and like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.